What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. Eyes are everywhere. It's election day. Look, I don't know when I'm publishing this video, but most polls are open till 7, 8, 9 o'clock or whatever. Look, if you haven't voted, especially if you're in Wisconsin or Pennsylvania or any other swing state, please stop what you're doing and go vote Trump and bring some people with you. Uh, if you know somebody in Wisconsin or Pennsylvania, or you're feeling blackpilled or whatever, just give me one more vote. All right, you can cram it in my face if things don't go well, and I will accept it willingly. But please, 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 there's still time today. Don't get out of line. Cast your vote. There's already some shenanigans going on I want to discuss. By the way, you all remember this awesome Tailgates for Trump full-color hilarious meme cookbook? Well, in honor of the election, we have released a holiday edition. We also put the old one up for sale, too, and a bundle. The holiday edition has 50 recipes, hilarious and delicious, like Big Mike's Christmas Orbs, McMega Fries, Peanuts Freedom Bean Almondine. Uh, you've got a threat to our Dumac cookies and many more. There's a limited supply available. Link in the description, Tailgates for Trump dot com slash store also all day 15 percent off everything on coffee brand coffee except the advent calendars with promo code vote there's just there's something for everybody here our peach or our fall flavors are ridiculously good our our stalwart flavors like blueberry cobbler our unflavored coffee everything roasted fresh to order let's get into the news all the links in the description to support the channel let's talk a little bit about some shenanigans. In a, I'm in a deep red part of Swing State, Pennsylvania, and all of the voting machines are broken across this county and the neighboring ones. People are stranded in line, and the constable told them that they don't. if they don't get the machines working by 10 p.m., they will turn people away. Stay in line. Don't let them discourage you from voting. Uh, if you see this, um, there's some video I want to share. Of that, I guess it has something to do with the SD cards. Again, why we can't have paper ballots? This, I mean, if there's ever been an example of you know why we need paper ballots, this is it. Here is video from jo Johnstown, PA. All the flash drives on the ballot counting machines need to be replaced in Cambria County. They are not counting votes. So say it again. Flash the, drives the are flash not. Flash drives yeah, that go sure. to your machines Just are not sure. synced up. And so they're having to get oh, new goodness. flash drives out to all the machines. Yeah. That's what we've been just told. Cambria County. It's Cambria County. County that we know of. Yeah. That they know of. Boy, I mean, it sure would have been nice to have paper ballots, or it sure sure would be nice if these idiots had tested anything ahead of time. I, I just I don't understand it, you know? This is crazy. Here's another video. Our our county right now, the entire co county cannot submit votes. I mean, 
Can we get like, I mean, again, paper ballots, please. You had how many weeks to prepare for this, by the way? How many weeks to prepare for this? And sure enough, and of course, it's in a deep red county. What a coincidence. In a state that is highly likely to decide the election, a deep red county, uh, voting machines broken. Now, they have extended early this. Oh, by the way, here's another. Okay, here's another shenanigan here. Wait, I got to keep all my shenanigans in order. Here we have the election judge that showed up almost an hour late into a voting location in Allegheny County, PA. Voting could not begin until he bothered showing up. It's election day, bro. All this in all this in Pennsylvania where the election essentially hinges. Now, if Kamala Harris if Pennsylvania gets fortified, you know, Trump still has a path to victory. That means he has to flip Wisconsin. Everybody that I've talked to locally says they've never seen lines like this on election day. I don't know what that means because yes, generally Republicans vote in person more, but we don't really know um, until we know, right? We don't know until the counts start coming in. Also in Pennsylvania, Early this morning, we learned that Republican poll watchers in Philadelphia, York, Westmoreland, Allegheny, Lehigh, Cambria, Wyoming, and Lackawanna counties were being turned away. We've deployed our roving attorneys and engaged with local offices and can now report that all Republican poll watchers have been let into the building. We will keep fighting, keep winning, and keep sharing updates. I mean... I would say that the Republicans are more ready now for the shenanigans than they were in 2020 or 2016. Obviously, things break. You know, machines break. This happens. Um, you know, if we just did paper ballots, we wouldn't have to speculate. You wouldn't have people saying, what's going on here? Now, perhaps some slightly good news. The We have some early voting in extremely early you have dixville notch uh which is like you know a tiny county of like 10 people or something like that they released their voting results last night um and biden in 2020 biden had won all five votes <laughs> all five people that voted in 2024 six people voted and it was three for trump three for harris so that's a plus two votes for trump i mean yes it's tied but instead of having a five-point lead, it's tied. Also in Guam, um, Joe Biden carried 55% of the vote with Trump getting 41. So that was a nine plus five, 14-point lead in 2020. In 2024, Kamala Harris has 49% of the vote and Trump has 46. So instead of a 14-point lead, it's just a three-point lead. And also the legislature flipped red there the first time since 2008. Again, this is extremely limited data. You also see Philadelphia City Commissioner's Office tells non-citizens that they can vote if they are Philly residents. Uh, this is via James O'Keefe. James O'Keefe here in North Philadelphia on 5th Street. Right here is the Philadelphia City Commissioner's Office the day before election day and across the street is an NGO called Saiba, that's Saiba, and they are telling people to vote. They are telling people that all you need is what's called a TIN number, that's I TIN number, and you can vote if you're not a citizen of the United States. So we sent an undercover reporter to this NGO right across from the place where people are early voting and she got confirmation that, yes, in fact, she can vote with nothing but an I-10 number. I mean, nothing but, an, I mean, telling non-citizens that they can vote. I mean, again, here we have a polling place in Oklahoma City. They've got a BLM and the trans flag at a polling location. That's illegal. Um, now, these are all negative things, right? Now, voting has now been extended to 10 p.m. in Cabrera County. Pennsylvania responds to a software malfunction in the electronic voting system that has prevented voters from scanning their own ballots. Again, uh, I guess that's good. Hopefully people could come back, but it is curious that this stuff happened in a deep red county um, in 
arguably the most important state in the election. Now, again, Trump can win if he flips Wisconsin and loses Pennsylvania, but I want him to win both. I mean, he could still lose if he wins Pennsylvania if some other craziness happens. But I mean, this is so wild to me that here we go, an hour into the day, um, breaking Pennsylvania. Uh, now, now I'm going to give you a little bit of a white pill. By the way, don't forget tailgatesfortrump.com slash store link in the description. Get your, it's a great gift. I know a lot of people about this original one for a gift. This new one's going to be even thicker, full color, 50 hilarious recipes. Get the bundle. Um, it's great for 60 bucks. You can give the, 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 you know, family member or friends or family member, the, you know, the perfect gift this Christmas. Let's look at this Republican. Like, look, look, let's look at Florida. Florida Republicans now lead by over 1 million voters in 2024 election and historic development. Republicans now lead, have 4 million votes. Democrats at 2.9 million votes and NPA, no party affiliation at 2 million votes. I mean, of course, Florida was never in play. Uh, that was nonsense. Here we have, interestingly, Maricopa County election day. So Arizona is obviously important too. Maricopa County has Republicans at 16,000 to Democrats at 7,300. Margin, Republicans plus 23.9. Again, Carrie Lake in here. Ignore the numbers. Go vote. It doesn't matter. Every vote counts. Here you have now a white pill in Pennsylvania, which is why if you know anyone there, you should vote. Pennsylvania update. Republicans are now even with Democrats in their mail-in ballot return rate, about 86% each. They trailed by eight points in 2020. Democrat firewall now at 420,000 votes or 22.3 points. In 2020, it was 1.1 million so the the Democrat firewall is only 45% of what it was in 2020. If I look at 2020, I'm curious, what was it? 2020 Pennsylvania election results. Um, it was obviously a narrow margin, blah, blah, blah. Let's see the final count. Joe B Biden looks like he won. What is this? He won by barely 3.4 million to 3.3 million. He won by 100,000 votes. He won barely won Pennsylvania. If, if, if Republicans show up today, they can take Pennsylvania back. Also, here we go again. According to Laura Trump in Pennsylvania, there were eight different counties trying to block Republican poll watchers. We know, we, we talked about that. But here is the final RCP uh, poll again. Vote. If you're watching this video and you haven't voted, please, please go vote. If you already voted, call somebody. Literally pick up the phone and call somebody and be like, hey, did you vote? And then obviously, you know, call a likely Trump voter or an independent, someone who's willing to be convinced and go and like do whatever you can to get them to the polls today. Every vote, it has to be too big. It has to be beyond question. Every vote counts. Now, Trump projected to retake White House. By RCP average, they have Trump with 287 electoral colleges with probably the most boring map. This is Trump winning Pennsylvania, Ohio, West Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina. Really just Trump winning PA and Arizona and Virginia and North. I'm sorry. This has they have Trump winning PA, Arizona and Nevada. Nevada is not required to win the election. Um, and, ne um, and neither would. Actually, neither would Arizona, right? Because he would still have 270. Um, he would win 270 to 268, even if he didn't win Nevada and Arizona. I'm hoping he wins Wisconsin and or Michigan, but you never know. Um, make sure you subscribe, follow. I will be live streaming the election tonight right around 6 o'clock on all my channels, on the, on the Quartering Main Channel on YouTube, Quartercast, Rumble everywhere. I want you to tune in. I'll be joined by Hannah Claire tonight, co-anchoring my election coverage. I look forward to seeing you. Stay vigilant, vote, and I'll do my what I do, and I'll keep reporting. We'll talk to you again real soon.